seven months ago, weren't we? With a one of our life. Alright, we had a good time then, and I don't know, how are we gonna fuck this up today? I'm sorry, because, you know, every time I'm having fun, I get this compulsory thought that I gotta fuck it up somehow. So, I will apologize in advance for a possible Swedish middle-aged semi-fat naked people. Oh, village people. see the similarity. <laughs> but don't worry, we won't make you do the YMCA government's really well. Here, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? You really want to do the YMCA? You got a machine here. Alright. One, two, three, four. YMCA! It's not the same. <laughs> we barely got started, already had goosebumps twice and did the YMCA. You know what? I got an idea. Can I borrow your hands again, please? We're gonna do Swedish Pagans! <laughs> compulsory need to fuck this up somehow. I don't know, it feels like the twilight zone or something. Damn, what am I gonna do now? Fuck it over! Don't drop my pants. No, 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 I won't drop my pants. Or actually, well, I could, I could really make this awkward by playing guitar. I can't play guitar. Well, I can't play, but don't fucking tell them, okay? <laughs> I'm really good at fooling pieces. So, are you really sure about this? No, but that's right anyway. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> now, you might think that this is some kind of gag we do every night. And, uh, well, we do this every night. <laughs> but it's not a gag at all, because I'm an excellent guitar player. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind him, he's just jealous because Michael Jackson chose me to be the lead guitarist for his reunion shows. <laughs> it's true! I got in touch with him when I was a child. Don't go play me. They made it dirty, man. <laughs> so, how about some guitar playing? suck. People want to, they don't want to hear that shit. They want another song. 
you guys want another song? Let's go. This is Resist and Fight! My friends, you know, I'm gonna say something serious for a change now. Um, as many of you, I hope most of you know, 70 years ago something crazy happened over in Europe. You know, World War II, right? And you know, what a lot of people over in Europe seem to forget these days is that if it weren't for your probably grandfathers and fathers, you'd be speaking German now. I gotta, I gotta ask you about the story. It's, I don't know if you can see this, but it seems to be a... Uh, well, he's not a... yeah, he's an M1. But I'm thinking about the dude. It's, that's not an M1. <laughs> <laughs> On the back. Bill Sharp, US 95th Division AAA gunner, came ashore at Omaha Beach, D-Day plus three. <laughs> Fought in the Battle of the Bulge. Liberated Dach Dachau Death Camp. Fired upon by German railway gun and was wounded. But they couldn't kill him, of course, he could have killed him. And he received a purple heart. Is, your, is it true? This is your great uncle, 93 years old. And a Cybertron fan. concerts all over the world, okay? And I can honestly say I can't remember the last time we played somewhere on a Wednesday as a support band that had a welcome like this. Thank you, North Carolina! As I said, Wednesday night, young people, old people, men and women, everybody's having a good time. Nobody's hurt. You know, I see, look over here. It's a very young one there. Hello. Actually, can we bring him on stage? It seems like he doesn't want to. Is it okay if I come down to you, my friend? You sure? I'm gonna jump down and scare the shit out of him. <laughs> Thank you, you're so sweet. You called me ugly. I'll leave you alone. You know what? See, he's a really, really young one and he seems a little bit shy, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of a souvenir instead of a night, okay? My friends, I don't want to say goodbye actually. So let's say until we meet again. Yeah.